Hello everyone, my name's Lost and welcome back. So today I thought that we would um, just add some animations and just make the game, uh, or the project rather, it's not really a game yet, but make the project just look a little bit more appealing, right? So I'm going to provide you with an actual spearman that we can use. Um, unfortunately I can't give you the background that I've used because um, this is just one I found on the internet and I don't know who to credit or anything like that, so I'm not going to provide a download link. Um, you'll have to find your own background or just create one really quickly or anything like that. But um, yeah, first of all, I'm going to give you a download link in the description where you can find all of the sprites that I'm going to use in this project. Um, now, I created these a while ago. Um, and we're just going to scale them down because they're a lot bigger than 32 by 32. Um, as you can see here, this is the spearman we're going to use. Um, I created these ages ago, um, and I used spine to animate it. But yeah, we're going to use these, and we're going to set up some sort of animation um, handler. Uh, but yeah, as, after you've downloaded them in the description below, just do what I've done. So you click the first one, then hold Control, press A, and you'll get them all in order. And then they'll come in here. You won't have to do this next step because they'll already be the right size for you. But I'm going to have to do this. So I'm going to have to go um, stretch and get rid of the aspect ratio and do 32 by 32. And this is our character. Um, so the first thing you want to do is this one we're just going to call um, Sprite Spearman Idol. Uh, and you can just center that. I think that that should work around about there. That should be all right. But go to modify mask, and in here, just put 31 in there. Um, yeah, that should work. Okay. And then you can OK that. And then again, you'll just be doing the same for um, Spearman uh, Run. I believe there's four different animations we're using here. Uh, I think I made yeah. So I've made attack animations, death animations, idle animations, and run animations. Uh, we're just going to do the same for all of these. Um, transform, stretch. As I said, fortunately you don't have to do this bit. Uh, yep, that should be zero. Just yet. Yeah, always make sure this is zero, zero, thirty-one, thirty-one, just for this size. Just because then it doesn't complicate anything, and then it's the actual full square that he um, occupies, if you like. Uh, so let's do the attack next. Oh, that's death. Uh, let's do the attack next. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping... I haven't actually tested it this yet. I'm hoping this works. I don't know if it will or not, but we'll see. Um, I may have to play around with this attacking animation. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to put the attacking animation in yet and the death animation because we're not using them yet. I'm just going to stick with the idle and the run for now and then I will see if I can make the next set of animations work properly. Right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start the spearman off on the spearman idle. You no longer need this one here. You can save to just delete that out. So in here, in his variables, we're going to do two things. I want to do um, idle anim is going to equal sprite um, sprite spear man idle and his run animation if I can type today will equal um, sprite spearman run. Um, so now we need to find a way to um, get between each of these and this is actually straightforward uh, oh actually first what I recommend you do when you make um, a pixel based game click this button here go into windows graphics and this will be ticked just turn this off you only want to do this however for um, pixel projects I forgot I, f I forget what interpolate means but this makes it kind of blurry so I guess it, maybe it's got something to do with AA, not sure, I forget. But just turn it off anyway, and then it's um, it looks a lot sharper. 
Uh, right, so now if we go to scripts and go to the player turn section, uh, in here, when we tell the player that he's moving, so right here, we down here we need to go um, uh, sprite index equals sprite uh, spearman run like that, and then once he is once he's finished, we will then say sprite spe um, sorry sprite index equals spray spearman idle. Now this should just work, I think. Let's give it a test. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't. Cool. Maybe it's a little bit fast. And in all fairness, they have not <laughs> they've not handled the um, lowering in resolution very well. But you know what? I'm not bothered. I think that's okay. What all we need to do is just slow them down a little bit because that is really fast. So uh, I guess we'll just go. Uh, image speed, in fact I'll, mm, yeah this is fine, right. image speed, maybe we'll set it at 0 0.3, let's see how that looks, that might be too slow, uh, let's check, oh no that's alright, maybe maybe it's a little bit slow, and also <laughs> that looks ridiculous because it runs a bit fast. Um, alright I'm going to try 0 0.5, and also the way that we slow him down is what I'm going to do is I'm going to give um, each of the characters a pace um, and this will just be the speed at which he runs so they've all got a unique sort of speed we'll give this guy a speed of 2 we'll try 2 because I don't know how fast that's going to be um, so what you want to do if we do that is you go to the navigation we need a new argument called var uh, pace, and this will be arguments for. And so um, this here path start needs to be the pace like that, and the way that we set the, the paces in here we have to go into this and uh, hold on I did not add it up here, you don't have to add it up here I just like too far consistency sake so the pace will be um, global dot um, oh no sorry this can just, you just put pace here because we're already identifying the global selector so just put pace and this will be the pace that we want so let's see if that works a little bit nicer. Uh, it does. I'm not, is that alright? Is that still too fast? No, I like that. I think that's fine. Um, yeah, that's alright. That doesn't look too bad at all. Um, yeah. It's not that <laughs> this this hasn't really made very good pixel art, mind you, though, has it? That's just because it's come out kind of poorly from the um, lowering quality process. But you know what? That's fine. I don't care. This looks all right. Um, I just wanted to add some graphics in here and some animation just to make the project feel a bit nicer. You know what I mean? Because it was a bit static before, wasn't it? It was a bit. I don't know. I think I feel like we've got something to work with now. You know what I mean? So, so yeah. I'm going to leave it there. Um, in fact, no, I'm not. Before we finish this, I'm going to stop drawing the grid from him, just so it's just so we can have a look at what it looks like when we're not drawing the grid. So in here, I'm just going to set all this to stop drawing. So when you do it like that, that just means ignore, ignore everything underneath, and to end it, you you do it the other way around, like that. So let's just see how it looks when we're when we're not drawing the grid. Uh, yeah, that looks cool. Well, this is alright. Yeah, we've got something to work with now. I mean, I would recommend, if you want, that you make your own graphics for this, just because mine, um, they're not that good. <laughs> I'll be honest, these, also we should be able to move to that square. I'm not sure what's happened there. I will check that out and I'll have to make like a, 
I don't know, like a, a bug squashing kind of episode. But whatever, I'm happy with this for now. I'll, I'm sure I'll squish that bug soon. Um, but yeah, I quite like the look of this. And as I was saying, yeah, probably you, you might want to make your own graphics just because all the ones I use will probably be as crap as this. Um, because obviously the graphics that I've made was meant for a like a 1080p game or a 720p game rather than you know this kind of resolution um, but yeah I'm quite happy with how this has gone so far so um, so yeah thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time <laughs>